Hannah and I work with the Rockin' Kids. And I'm Shauna and I intern with the Warriors. So today we're gonna play a game of Mother May I. Raise your hand if you've ever played Mother May I. It's a really fun game. If you've never played, I'll explain it to you right now. So basically, the mother, me, I'm gonna be the mother today, is standing on one side and then the children, you guys, are gonna be on the other side. But it's a little different than the normal game because this time, you guys will ask me something like, Mother, may I raise my hands and wiggle them? And then I will say, yes, you may, because you said, Mother, may I? But if you said, can I raise my hands and wiggle them? Without saying, Mother, may I? I would not say, yes, you may, because you didn't say, Mother, may I? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll give you some examples right now. Mm, mother, may I itch my nose? Yes, you may. Oh, gosh, it really is. Just thank you. Mother, may I do jazz hands? Yes, you may. Can I stand up and shout? No, you may not. Okay. So now why don't you ask me if you can do something? But don't forget to say mother, may I? Go ahead. Yes, you may do that. Awesome. So this game really is just a game to practice following simple commands and asking the question, if we may. And the thing about Jesus is he also gives us simple commands. We're going to be reading some scripture today. So parents, if you would like to get out your Bibles and sit down with your kiddos and read through this with us, then we're going to be turning to John 13, 34. John 13, 34 says this, I give you a new command, love each other. You must love each other as I have loved you. And I know that this command seems really simple, but does it always feel that simple? Loving one another isn't as simple as it sounds, but when we ask Jesus, can I love one and the other people I live with? Jesus will say, yes, you may, just like I said, yes, you may, when you said, mother, may I? And Jesus will be able to help you do that through the Holy Spirit. He will give you the power to love other people who you live with and all the other people you see. But even right now, when we're stuck at home with each other all day long. Yeah, even now, Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, can give us the power to love each other. And just remember that when you ask Jesus for help to love your brother or your sister, even if they're on your last nerve right now, he has the power to give you the strength to do that. Sometimes... Love really is a choice, and it's a choice that Jesus helps us make because of the awesome love that he has shown us. So other than loving um, our brothers, our sisters, our mom, our dad, the family and friends around us in this time, what are some ways that we can show love for them? What are some ways that you've shown someone you love them this week, Hannah? This week, I'm choosing to help my family by doing extra chores around the house so that I can, so they have less to do. Oh, that's really nice of you. How are you showing the people you live with that you love them? Well, last night I made some chocolate chip cookies. Well, we want to know how you guys are showing people that you are loving them well also. So we're going to challenge you to do something in the next couple of days. Pick someone in your house, even if that person has maybe done something lately to annoy you. Try to come up with something simple that um, you can do for them to show that you love them. Whether it's taking out the trash for your mom, maybe putting away the dishes, or maybe it's playing with your brother or sister a game that they want to play that you didn't want to play. It can be really simple, but if we choose to love them in a small way, it can really mean a lot. So you guys could play Mother May I like the game we were playing, or you could build paper airplanes, or you could even have an indoor snowball fight. <gasps> 